Okay, hello everyone, it's me, Page of Maces, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. We left off, we just got married to Harvey, and here he is, wondering why we have stuff on the floor. We just don't have any energy today. Oh, that's fine. Let me just move this out of the way so I can give you a kiss. There. Don't worry, I will get another chair and a better table. First I just have to watch the telly. Welcome to Casio. Screen. Why are you doing? It randomly flickers off. I have no idea what the hell it's doing. Forecast for tomorrow is going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. This is also the last day of spring we are recording, because the next few days are Saturday and Sunday respectively. And Fortune Teller says spirits are neutral today. don't even need to worry about watering the green beans. Getting our final crop in of strawberries by the look of things. Sweetness. Check out the shed too in a minute. So much more stuff to do. Oh, out of water. I spotted a diamond down there. something in them but we don't have any bait on us. Yes, we also need to, to milk everything. Milk all of the things. BJW's two hearts already. Here's the milk. Rufuson? Maybe. Pips got no milk. And there's the little pigs. He looks fine. Hello, baby. The cows both had milk. Oh, hello. When did you almost get up to five hearts? Shake down the apricots. Right, just move these down here now. Just see what they've got in there. Oh, don't want to lock them out. Just one egg. Oh, you cookie things. This my little grove of trees is growing quite nicely. Right, today I think I want to check out Grisabella. See if she has anything decent on her today. Just for a bundle. Let's so double check, because I've been playing some other saves on this, so I think all we have left is three melons, three or two melons, we can do that next season. Fish tank, we need a red snapper and a telop, but they come next season too. Uh, walleye, which I think is in fall, but Grizabella could be selling it. We still gotta find a rabbit's foot, a pomegranate, truffle, and red cabbage which we will get next season two. So we're doing okay. Okay, let's pop that large egg in there then. Because Grizabella could indeed have one of the things on the list. If she has a tilapa or a red snapper or indeed even even a truffle in there, which negates the need to get this pig, but I've never negate getting pigs or riffs. Probably also take stock of how much stuff I've got in this chest, because I'm am tempted to go and see if we can get we've got to harvest these. It's Ten o'clock, I'm still harvesting and doing stuff from the morning routine. Because I am distracted as all hell. 
large amounts fast. We want to save that if we become better friends with someone. Glazed yams. Not quite sure who we need them for, so we just need two more melons. We've got lobster. We've got plenty of hardwood. Hmm. I could get a stable built and we can get a horse. Uh, let me just check the wiki. I won't take long. I've got the carpenter shop book. <laughs> uh, what do I need for that? I think I need like iron. Whoops. And uh, it's just gone past its stable. I need five iron bars, 100 hardwood. And I've got that. Um, well, let me just check what I need for the deluxe coop. I need 500 wood, 200 stone. I think maybe getting a rabbit is a bit more important than getting a horse. We will do that by the end of next season! Let's go visit Grizabella! We have space and inventory, we have stuff that we need to take to Gunther too. We need to fill those with things as well. So much to do! And she doesn't care too much, she's just happily running around with her cap on thinking, ah. Oh. I've just married to a just got married to a wonderful doctor guy. Carp, rare seed, uh, modern end table, <gasps> coffee bean. Yes, we need you. That came in very useful. You're selling rare seeds, both for a thousand. I could get both. No, I can't. Let's grab that. Ah, some spell, some free wood. That will take you. So we might as well chop down some trees. I do totally need it too. <laughs> totally need to let some grow on my farm. But the unfortunate thing is you use up wood so quickly when you're trying to build things. I can't believe how little money I have. It's kind of scary, like in my other save where I was playing as the Wither, she got so much money so fast, but that's because she went on the Jojo. Well that is so that that was so boring. Because unlike this where you got to like think, oh yeah, this is gonna take me like X amount of time, but I can keep hunting for stuff in and out of season, see if I can try and like find puffer fish, or I've got really crap farming skills. It's a heck of a lot more interesting. Because you're constantly hunting for objects, you're not trying to just make money. Now I want to put some stuff away and I don't want to. Oh, I want to sell stuff but I want to plant this coffee bean first because this will continue to produce throughout the whole of summer. Right. right. Oh I don't have a hoe so I can't plant it around up the, the, the next to him. He'll be protected by that guy. Got my golden hoe that I need to pick up. Sell all this, sell that, sell that, sell that. Hmm. Probably go and get the magnetic smashed over too. Just do a quick once over the various bits and pieces. It'll do nicely. Please say we can. Excellent. Golden Ho! That I'm gonna get your. I'm gonna moisten your floor. Cool. Not amazing, but we always need more of it. Green algae. Oh, hi, Caroline. It's a fine looking day. That it is, that it is. I, no, I can't go down the bin, she's watching me. Get into the library, I'm not gonna go down the dustbin. Yes, I am. Donate to the museum. This is gonna get a little bit tricky because, because the screen goes funny sometimes. Down here. So we put that back in our inventory. There we go. And we'll do that with the barrier. 
night as well. We're getting this place decently filled. I think I still need the red disc and uh, some parts of the sloth and some other stuff. We're getting there. Doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to a museum, but cat treasure hunt. Well, fine then, I will. If you're gonna be like that, Gulter. Rude much? There. Got enough energy to even go fishing, but I feel like I do too much of that on camera, so I will spare you. Am I not wise and benevolent? Well, benevolent may be wise is a completely different thing. Come on now, Paige. Don't get a big head. Ignore I am more or less thinking straight now. Because if you don't watch my DV videos, and don't you? I have had a very nasty cold the past couple of days. Not having very much energy. Slowly recovering. Oh, hi, Elliot. Fresh air of this valley is good for body and mind. Do I have everybody on at least one heart now? Oh no, the wizard Sandy Krobus and yeah, all these guys. No. I don't have everybody on one heart. That sucks. Oh, and I can't even go and talk to Willy and get some more bait because he's shut now. Oh, hi, Krobus. Oh, he sells iridium sprinklers today, but look, they're really expensive. I don't have the money. I'm not buying void eggs off him. That's just silly. And I've also been thinking I might carry this on past third year, uh, past the end of the second year, and see how well we've done. Just for like a little bit. I might like do a straw poll or something, put it in there. Put it in the video descriptions. Like, would you like me just to continue this on as a series for forever? This was already my most played game on Steam. And I've not had it for as long as some of the other games on there. But like, none of them are really endless mode games. I think if I ever did Fate the Cursed King as a let's go, that would pretty much just take a biscuit. Oh, hi, Wild Horse Radish. There is a stump that did not properly chop down. We will fix this so the mighty tree can grow back. Oh no, it's not one that I can interact with. Just random stumpage. And that will be the title for the episode. I don't think there's anything new I can buy from you, is there, Hat Mouse? No. I get a tiara or a watermelon band, but I think I'm happy with the hat. Uh, we do want to go past Grisbella again because we can go and wander into the, the uh, secret woods. Grab some decent stuff from there. This year we'll be able to go in there in the summer and we'll be able to buy fiddleheads. Which you can make risotto out of. Which Shane really likes, I think. And Gus as well. Which over to Obsidian Edge. Okay, good thing mm -hmm. I came in here because there's a good peck of mushrooms in here. Oh, we're out of space in the inventory. What can I get rid of? Fucking algae. Mm -hmm. Probably get rid of the sap as well. I've got tons of sap. No, I s still can't pick you up. What kind of awesome horseradishes are you? I'm gonna have to get rid of the clay and the slime. Seriously? Ooh, they were silver starred. Good thing I came in here, indeed. Out. Get out of here. You're just dropping slimes, of which I have tons of again. It's getting night and I can't harvest those stumps, which is a bit of a waste. But maybe we'll be able to get our foraging up another level. She's still open. 
Probably should have gone and seen Robin today and gotten some more chairs. And possibly a new table. Though she sells them sometimes as well, so maybe I'll check again on Sunday. I'm going to show you guys everything once I'm done. Dun dun dun. Let's head over here, then round everything up. Got to check inside Mushroom Cave 2 just to see if we get anything decent from that. There might be a lot of mushrooms in there today. Silver diamonds, let's keep quartz. This is all good. I've also started another nostalgia save off because I am completely addicted to this game. It's set in one of the new one of the new features where you can choose what kind of farm you start off with, so I've started off in a wheel wilderness farm. So the poor girl is being attacked by things and she doesn't even have a sword, so she's killing wilderness golems with a scythe. And you might see what these are on my channel because one of the end game things I have discovered allows you to have monsters appear on your farm. So I, I might start off like two little things. So do you want me to carry on past year two? Do you want me to enable monsters? Yeah, those are the two things. If you're watching this and you enjoy this series, do you want me to carry on after a break where I do another series? Or is everybody happy if I end this after the grandpa's evaluation thing? <sighs> and should I let monsters loose on the farm at night when I have the opportunity to? So let's sell all of these. We'll hopefully make a decent clip of money today. Let's go to bed. Oh, let's put some stuff away first. We can eventually have a baby with Harvey, we just need to be in bed before he is and have a much nicer house and we've got plenty of gold and fine quartz so we can make some more quality sprinklers over the weekend. Let's go to bed. You're still kind of standing there Harvey, you okay? Take it easy, I spent some day reading books filled with my radio and worked on a model aeroplane. It's important to take a day off now and then to relax, stress is unhealthy. That's true, and it kind of looks like you're strangling me, which is a little bit strange. There you go. Come on then, you coming to bed, Harvey? Yeah, he is. I'm going to bed before him. Yeah. So let's see how much money we have made today. Oh, nice. Nine, uh, eight thousand nine hundred and thirty. What gave us all that money here? Was it the morels? I think it was. Yeah, loads of really good morels. And the chanterelles. Maple syrups. Nice. So, for now, I'm Paige of Maces. This has been the last you'll see of spring. Uh, and the next episode, we will start off in summer. So, TTFN.